Hey guys, so today's video is not a request. I started that out like it was going to be a request. This is kind of like piggybacking off of last, last week's video. Um, it's a, another suicide, another jumper, and another location where I kind of was in the vicinity of. I don't know why. I should have just added this to last week, but I thought it was going to be a longer research, longer story, and it turns out there's not that much information out about it. <clears throat> just never really fully, um, I guess was released or, um, excuse me, can't think of the word, you know, embellished on. So I thought I would just sort of touch on it today. So it might be a short video unless I ramble, which we all know I do. <clears throat> this is actually the story of a suicide that happened in Gatlinburg in 2016 in April of 2016. Now, my last video I talked about a suicide that happened in the happened in the building that I worked in when I worked for the state of Tennessee. This I still worked for them. And every year we had conferences in Gatlinburg, Tennessee in April of Gatlinburg in April of Gatlinburg. I can't talk today. I actually got sleep last night. I'm so sorry. In April every year, we had conferences in Gatlinburg, <clears throat> and I want to say we arrived in Gatlinburg the day after this happened. It was like the day after it happened or the immediate week after it happened because there was still remnants of what had happened and where it had happened, <clears throat> and I'll go into that a little bit too. I'm so sorry. That's going to be noisy, but make sure it's on quiet on the quiet setting okay anyways <clears throat> on april 11th of 2016 a former alabama man committed suicide by jumping off of the gatlinburg space needle his name was david ray pinion and i apologize we all know i'm really bad with names he was 58 years old um, apparently he lived um in pigeon forge that's what i've seen from the articles i researched on this and as usual, I'll have all of my sources below. He apparently jumped from the observation deck of the Space Needle. Um, Gatlinburg police received a report around 5.40 p.m. Eastern Time of a person falling from the popular tourist destination. Passerbys were horrified and vis visibly shaken by the event, obviously. <clears throat> and the uh, sidewalk was taped off where this happened and the street was remained, had remained closed for hours. Um, <clears throat> the Space Needle is 407 feet high and overlooks Gatlinburg and the surrounding Smoky Mountains. And below is a $25,000, 25, so sorry, 25,000 square foot arcade. Now I've never been on the Space Needle, but I've been to Gatlinburg, like I said, um, a few times. If you've ever been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, um, it's very, very small, the um, the area where this happened in. It's kind of like there's like a downtown Gatlinburg and everything else is mountains, like cabins up in the mountains, all that. And I think you're like a 10 minute drive from Pigeon Forge, which is a much bigger, more populous area. But Gatlinburg itself is just like a couple miles of basically two-sided streets, shops down every side and hotels a big convention center and then one or two um side roads that go off that main strip downtown now this happened just off the main strip <clears throat> excuse me there's one of these side roads that go to where the space needle is so you can see this all from the main strip <clears throat> excuse me um, Pinion, um, and again, I might be butchering his name, so I apologize, uh, formerly of Blount County, Alabama, had pled guilty in January of 2012 to one count of fraud in connection with the sale of securities. He received a suspended 10-year prison sentence and was ordered to serve five years probation. The charges against him stemmed from a 12-count indictment in April of 2010 by a Blount County grand jury. An investigation showed that between May of 2006 and August of 2007, he allegedly used schemes centered on various land development opportunities and transactions involving the buying and selling of automobiles. 
The commission said that he used these schemes to defraud Alabama investors of several thousand dollars. The judge gave him credit for time served, suspended the sentence, and placed him on five years probation. After a plea agreement between prosecutors and Pinion, with consultant, <coughs> excuse me, with consultation with his victims, asserting that he would be more capable of meeting his victims' restitution obligations if allowed to serve the balance of his of his sentence on probation. Now, it is unclear if he completed restitution prior to his death. It's also unclear if this is, um, I don't want to say the cause, but if this led to his feelings of hopelessness or that he had no other choice, sadly. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing that had something to do with it as that's what every article has quoted on. But <clears throat> let me just say, no matter how dire your situation is and may seem, there is always a better option. Um, that is not to say that anyone who has lost a loved one to this, it's not a selfish act. It's not a um, easy way out. It's none of that. I have someone, I have, a couple of people actually that I know who have lost people to suicide. It's not a joke. It's not a selfish thing. It's, it, it really is. It's an overwhelming, whelming feeling of there's no other option. Um, but there are other options. There are definitely ways around it. There are definitely ways through it. Um, <clears throat> if you or anyone that you know are having thoughts of suicide, hopelessness, anything like that, I will be linking as I did in the last video, Suicide Hotline, they have online options so you don't have to talk to someone. They have a hotline where you can call in and talk to someone anonymously. Please use those sources um, because nothing is so bad that that could be your only option. Now, witnesses say that the arcade building caught some of the man's fall. And this is true because I've seen that. And they're thankful that no one below on the sidewalk was hurt. Now, I've debated whether or not to put... A photo in this video um, of what had happened. I probably won't. Um, I'll probably just do a thumbnail of the Space Needle, maybe a thumbnail of the tenting afterwards so that you guys can see in the thumbnail. Maybe I'll just do that so you've probably seen it already. But when I arrived and saw the aftermath of what had happened, basically there was an awning over the sidewalk where the arcade was. Um, and like I said, this was like kind of an off set of the main road so there's kind of like a corner building and the corner building has these hard I don't know metal awnings over the sidewalk and right above that corner building was the space needle he jumped and hit the awning and then fell to the sidewalk and people were all around when this happened um I mean this is I think it was a uh, yeah Monday at almost 6 p.m. People were eating dinner at a restaurant nearby. I mean, this was highly visible to everyone around and people are very lucky that he didn't hit someone um, on the sidewalk because someone else could have been killed. But the awning was damaged. So when we arrived, there was like tarp over the awning. And if I'm remembering correctly, it was a pretty colorful awning, like stripes or something with bright colors because it was an arcade. And there was just like a big old I want to say blue tarp on it. So that was very um, unsettling to see. Um, so that was up for a while until they could fix it, basically. So it was just a sad reminder of what had just previously happened and um, just very obvious. So it was heartbreaking. And as usual, my thoughts definitely go out to his family and friends who um, I'm sure wish that he had chosen another route and I'm sure wish that they could have um you know I'm sure they did everything they could to help him so my thoughts are with them again if you are having any thoughts of this or know anyone who is use the sources below um to get help because I care people care nobody wants um to feel like that was for you to feel that that was your only option um as usual, all of my sources are below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching this. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of a mess. My brain just isn't working anymore. And I don't think it ever will again, but that's okay. 
Um, if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below. If you have any suggestions for videos, true crime or otherwise, please leave those in the comments below. If you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button as I upload new videos every Wednesday. And other than that, I will see you guys next week.